best life? Yes. How are you doing today, my dear? Oh, I'm not good. Not too good? No. All right, well, I heard from the CNA that you have been experiencing some pretty bad pain. Oh, yeah, very bad. Yeah? All right, well, I've got some Dilaudid for you, so that's hydromorphone. Have you ever heard of it before? No. No? Okay, so it's just going to help with pain. Um, so if you're feeling pretty bad right now, I'm just going to assess your pain really quick. <laughs> Um, on a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst pain, what do you think it'd be? 13. 18? Okay, so probably a 10, so the most severe pain? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you this I, or I'm gonna give you this through your IV. Um, but first, I'm just going to kind of ask you some questions just to get an assessment on you before I give it to you, okay? Okay. Okay, so... I'm going to give it through your IV, and I'm going to give you about 0.5 milligrams. Um, and then, do you have asthma? Do you have history of asthma? Not at all. Okay. Um, what about um, allergies? Have you, what are you allergic to? Are you allergic to any medications at all? No, no, dear. Okay. Um, and then, you have, you've had any renal or liver or serious pulmonary diseases in your history, have you? None. Okay, perfect. So I just ask you that just because um, this medication, um, the way it lasts, um, if you have damage to those organs, then it have, could have an effect, more effect on your body, okay? Oh my. Okay, so before I give you this, I just have to assess your respirations really quick, okay? Just your vital signs. Yes. All right. Okay, I'll try to hurry. I can see you're in a lot of pain. Let me just listen to your respirations, all right? Okay, so you got about 18. Now, if it were lower than 10, I wouldn't give you this uh, this medication because it can cause you to stop breathing and to slow your breathing, okay? Okay. Okay, so I looked and your blood pressure and your heart rate's good enough that I can give you this medication. All right, so. Okay, so some side effects with this medication are constipation. Oh my. So, so with this medication, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, we're going to try to get you up and walking and probably push more fluids in you and give you more fiber in your diet just because so we can move that, um, start moving your bowels just because this medication can kind of slow them down a bit, okay? Yeah. And another, some other, um, um, some other side effects, you'll probably be a little sedated, so you'll probably kind of feel tired, a little dizzy. Um, make sure that you kind of move around slowly just because it can cause lower blood pressure, okay? Okay. Okay, and then it may make you confused. If you get really confused, you got to notify me. If you feel like you're starting to breathe slowly, then make sure that you notify the nurse or, or your doctor, okay? All right. All right, so I'm going to give it to you. So this is going to be mixed in with five milliliters. It's going to be... Um, diluted with five milliliters of normal saline and so that's just because it is kind of a strong medicine you don't want to give it to you so concentrated and I'm going to give it to you over quite a bit of time probably three to five minutes okay and that's just because if I give it to you too fast it'll cause that respiratory depression all right oh, yes. okay so I'm just going to flush your IV really quick and it looks good okay is my cat safe your cat's very safe. Is oh, she at home? Good. I hope so. What's your cat's name? Susan. Susan? What kind of cat is it? Oh, she's brown and white. Oh, that's cute. I bet you'll be excited to see her. Oh, yes, much so. Good. Okay, so that's about five minutes, and then I'm going to put the rest of this saline in there, and I'm going to push the rest of this saline about just as much time as I put the medication in, okay? So a little bit longer. All right. Okay, are you feeling okay? Are you starting to feel the effects okay. a little bit? Yes, yes. Okay. And you should start to feel the ease and pain in a few minutes, okay? Okay. All righty. Okay. So we're gonna let that work for you. Okay, so this medication, um, it does kind of have a potential to to, for um, dependency. Um, so if you start feeling pain and you want to get some of this, that's, that's usually okay, but when you start wanting it, or asking me about this medication, wanting to have it, because maybe you just want to 
be, do you just want to go to sleep or something like that? That may be a sign that you're starting to be dependent on it. So we just want to make sure you just want this for the pain, okay? Okay. Okay, sounds good. And again, just make sure you change position slowly. Um, you may not apply here, but make sure you don't take any alcohol. Um, it looks like you're not taking any benzodiazepines or any other CNS depressants, depressants so we should be okay with that. Um, and then make sure that we're just getting up and walking, but if you feel too dizzy, make sure that you sit down and get some rest, okay? All right. And then, um, so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. So what are the side effects that you should look for with this medication? Constipation. Yep, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna help you walk around. What else should we do to help with the constipation? We're gonna help you, we're gonna increase your, your dietary fiber and then some fluids Yes, too. of course. So what other side effects should you look Give for? Use some prunes. In some prunes, exactly. We'll give you some of those if you like them. I love prunes. Oh, good. We'll have to give you some of those then. Have some prune juice. Yes. Um, and then any other side effects that you should look out for so you can let, notify me? Dependency. Dependency, yep. So if you start feeling like you really need this drug, maybe not just for pain but for other reasons, maybe just let me know and we can try something else. Yes. Um, and then also, um, if you start feeling really sedated and really strange and dizzy, just make sure you let me know, because um, it could be a sign of toxicity. We don't want to give you too much, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, and so what should you do to, with, while this medica with this medication? Because it's causing low blood pressure, what should you do? Have higher blood pressure. Well, I guess that too, but we want to make sure that you're changing position slowly, okay? Of course, Just because it could cause orthostatic hypotension or decreasing uh, blood pressure when you move around. All right, so I'm going to see if that'll help in a little bit, okay? Can I get you anything else? No, no, I think I'm good. All right, all right. I'll come in and check on you in a little bit, okay? Bye, dear. All right. Okay. <laughs>